Hello and welcome to another episode of Right to Dream Robotics. My name is Ayelu Komodo Mensa. We are continuing with our series on the Lego Robot Inventor. And today we are going to let our tricky robot move and do some tricks. By now you should have your app installed. If you haven't done so, please refer to our previous videos and install the app. With the app open, there are five different options based on the different builds you can do with the Robot Inventor. Since we built Tricky, we go ahead and click Tricky. It shows us all the different things that Tricky can do. And we click on step one, introducing Tricky and start. Okay. We've already built trick, our Tricky robots here. If you haven't built your robots yet, please subscribe and get access to our previous videos on how you can build your Tricky robot. So to begin, we click on this plus sign here to create a new project. With the new Robot Inventor app, you can build using word blocks or by writing code with Python. So we will choose the word blocks option and click create. This app has a lot of different options for you to build with. There's a section for motors where you can choose just one motor to move. There's a section for movement which combines both motors. There's lights which displays some writings on this LED screen here. There's sound, events, control, sensors which we'll get to, operators, variables and my blocks. With my blocks you can create your own special blocks and name them after yourself if you want. We also have an option here to have more block extensions. So when you click on it, it shows you a whole lot of different blocks that you can add. On the right side here, you would see the hub interface. So when you click on it, it shows you your hub, the battery percentage, and the ports that your robot is connected to. So if your robot is not close to you and you really want to know the ports that your motors and your sensors are connected to, you can just come to your hub connection, click on it, and it displays everything for you. In getting the robot to move, we can do it through rotations, degrees, or seconds. If all this sounds new to you, we have a video on it. The link we put in the description for you to watch if you are lost here. So we are going to begin with moving the motors. In doing that, the new Robot Inventor app gives us five options. So here's the difference. If we want to move just the motors, we have three ways we can do that. That's rotations, degrees, and seconds. But if we want to move the entire robot, we have the option of moving it through a distance. So with the Robot Inventor app, we have centimeters or inches, depending on the system that you use. Then we have the usual rotations, degrees or seconds. The downside with using centimeters or inches could be that you may be using a different size of the tire here. So a smaller tire would have to go through more rotations to go through a distance of say 100, 100 centimeters as compared to a bigger tire which would go through less rotations. So if you decide to use the centimeters and inches option, you always have to keep that in mind and make sure that you are using the right size of the tire. But we are going to go through rotations with this option. First of all, because we have connected two motors to the robot, we have to specify to the program which motors were connected and to which ports it was connected. Here on this robot, it's connected to ports E and F. So we go to our movement tab and we'll take this block here, which says set movement motors to E and F. It's already there. The, the program is quite smart, so it's identified that we've connected the motors to E and F. But it's always important to double check to see which your motor is connected to. 
We can also set our speed, depending on how fast you want your robot to go. So I'm going to set the speed to 20%. We are going to let the robot move forward for three rotations. Place the robot and press play. A robot is moving at a speed of 20% for three rotations. So now let's let it come back to the starting point. We choose our down arrow, which represents a backward movement and press play. And I would expect it to come back right back to me. Three rotations. Moving on from rotations, the next motion method is by degrees. This robot inventor has an inbuilt gyro sensor which helps it to move and make accurate turns. Do make sure to search for our video on using the sensors, the gyro sensor in particular, to know how you can make a really accurate 90 degree turn. Next, we'll move to moving in seconds. So we are going to let this robot move forward for about four seconds. Still moving at 20% speed. That was a really fast four seconds. Now we are going to let it come back in four seconds. You can count along see if it actually came back in four seconds. So, pressing play now. Okay. Now, here is a trick. If you look on the screen while the program is running, you will see a yellow halo around the program. That shows you that that particular set of code is running. If you click play and you don't see that, it means that there's something wrong with your code and your program is not running. So you can use that to check for errors in your code to see if there is one particular line of code you have to take out or something that is making your program not really work as it's supposed to. We've come to the end of our episode on movement with a fully assembled robot. In this episode, we went through moving with rotations and with seconds. As mentioned, the movement with degrees will be covered in another episode. So do make sure you like and subscribe to catch all of our videos and share your comments on what you'd like to do with Tricky the Robot. Catch you another time. Thanks for watching.